Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our demonstration of adaptive control feed rate optimization for total process control. I'll begin with a short presentation of the concept and technology, and then we'll move out to our showroom for a live demonstration on our Akuma M560 Vertical Machining Center. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Rob Karen, and I am president of Karen Engineering. I started Karen Engineering in 1986 after working as an engineering manager for a machine tool company. Our company was started and is still based out of Wells, Maine. We specialize in the design and implementation of data-driven products to automate and optimize the capabilities of CNC machines. Today, Karen Engineering is an employee-owned company with a dynamic product line that is sold worldwide through our network of certified integrators. Before I begin the presentation, I'd like to thank Akuma America, a valued partner of ours, for hosting us on their IMTS Spark channel for this demonstration. Also, if you have any questions during the demonstration, I encourage you to type them into the chat. If we have time at the end, I will answer them live, and if not, I'll be sure to follow up with you after the demonstration is complete. The topic of today's demonstration and presentation is adaptive control. So what is adaptive control? It is the process of automatically modifying operating parameters to constantly achieve a desired target. Today, we see it in many aspects of our daily lives. For example, the automotive industry uses this technology in such features as adaptive headlights, drive assist, and even cruise control. Adaptive cruise control automatically adjusts the vehicle's cruise control speed to maintain a safe distance from vehicles ahead. When the sensor detects a car is approaching another vehicle, the system automatically initiates deceleration until it has successfully achieved a safe distance. It allows you to automatically run at optimum speed when traffic is light and safely slows down when traffic is heavy until it is safe to increase speed again. Similarly, in CNC machining, sometimes the material is very consistent and the tool can cut at an optimum speed. But sometimes anomalies like hard spots or changes in thickness in material can occur. Since these anomalies are random, you can't program for them in your part program. You would have to set a lower feed rate to accommodate any of them during the cut. And even then, if it's a really hard spot, that might not be enough to save the tool. By using adaptive control and monitoring the power of the cutting tool in real time, it will automatically regulate the feed rate to achieve the desired power level. Without adaptive, a constant feed rate is set to achieve safe cutting for the worst material conditions. Using our TMAC system, which stands for Tool Monitoring Adaptive Control, TMAC learns the optimum power for the tool during the cut and automatically adjusts the feed rate in real time based on measured power. TMAC automatically speeds up the feed rate through the low power cuts and slows down through high power cuts as a tool wears. No operator intervention is needed. So how does it work? TMAC is a real-time tool wear and breakage detection system that interfaces directly with a CNC control and uses sensor data for live monitoring. For adaptive control, TMAC uses our high-speed, high-resolution power sensor that can adjust its sensitivity based on the intensity of the cut. We use a dedicated high-speed processor to handle all the processing power required for the TMAC system. The processor is installed in the machine cabinet connecting the power sensor to the CNC control. TMAC learns the cut and then uses adaptive control to optimize the feed rate in real time as the tool cuts through the material. Why is adaptive control essential for manufacturing? Well, manufacturing has many challenges, like different types of tooling, different types of material, changes in types and depths of cut, increased process complexity, and a decrease in experienced and skilled machine operators. Many of these challenges can be solved by implementing adaptive control technology. TMAC adaptive control will automatically adjust for these conditions in real time. This will optimize cutting and take the guesswork out of programming feeds and speeds. Using adaptive control, users can expect to see a significant reduction in cycle time, 
up to 60%, especially with difficult to machine materials and an increased tool life from running a constant chip load. Here's a quick preview of how TMAC works. First, it learns the cut and then uses that information to set a target cutting power. This target will be used to automatically adapt the feed rate in real time. But the best way to understand is to see it on the machine. So let's head out to the showroom for an adaptive control demonstration on our Akuma M560. So we've spent some time talking about the theory and the technology behind adaptive control. Now we're going to show how it actually works in real time. We're going to use this Akuma Genos 560 Vertical Machining Center to actually show the demonstration. This system has the TMAC with adaptive control integrated into the machine and we're going to use this aluminum part to actually show how we're going to cut and use adaptive control technology. We've created a program that has some minor anomalies in the cut that would show a typical adaptive cut where material conditions or thicknesses are changing. So we're going to run the demo and show you how it works. So first what we're going to do is learn a cut on this machine. Here's a part program that's set up. You can see that on the Akuma control, the uh, software runs right on the control. The system's actually in a learn mode right now. Now TMAC can work on any CNC control, but the Akuma Windows-based interface makes it really nice and simple to turn back and forth between the CNC side and the TMAC screen. So let's learn a part. We'll take a look at what's going to happen. So now we're looking at live cutting data. This is the actual power of the spindle that's cutting. You can see the green line is automatically scaling and changing on the fly as it learns different cutting parameters that are happening with this tool. We're going to actually learn two sections of this tool cut so we can show some different reactions to the cutting. Here's the second section. It's relearning the cut. And again, you can see that the green line is showing how it automatically learns the sensitivity required for this type of cutting. We're also getting a basic time base of when a tool is cutting at exactly 100%, how long did this cut take? Now that we've learned the cut, we're going to show how adaptive control works in real time. So we're going to cut again with the monitoring capability turned on. This allows our system to adaptively control the feed rate of the machine. So you're going to see now as the cut starts, the, the horsepower is in white and the feed rate is in purple. The percentage being shown on the screen. So there's a target horsepower, which is a green line. When the horsepower is below that line, it's going to maximize the feed rate. When the horsepower tries to get above that line, the system is automatically going to control the feed rate to maintain a power cut no higher than that. Optimizing the cut in the best way it can. It's doing this every 10 milliseconds. It's constantly adapting to all the changing conditions. So now we're going to look at the historical data. This is the recorded data. We can go back to any cuts that have happened. So first of all, you'll notice that we're looking at the learn cut right now, but indicated by the green background. We can also switch over to the monitored cut or the adaptively controlled cut. And you can see that the other one is grayed out in the background. So you can easily switch back and forth to see one cut versus the other and see exactly what the changes were. Here, by using the cursor in the screen and the details on the left, we can see a lot of different things about the cut. The actual current power, but also the axis position. Where exactly was the machine at any point in time during the cut? This can be invaluable to determine when anomalies have happened and where they occurred in the cutting process. We can also look at the overall time of the cut. Here you can easily see the adaptive cut and the current, the learned cut, which was at 100% feed rate, the time difference, considerable. Now we can go to the learned cut and we can see exactly the feed rate that was controlled, which is the purple line, and we can see the power that was cut, which is the white or the area under this curve. We can also zoom in on any section of the cut to see in more detail exactly what might have happened at that point. 
All these features really give you an advanced analytics tool to determine how your improvement helped you and also what anomalies may have happened during the cutting process. So we've seen the advanced analytics and the tools that TMAC provides you to look at the cutting data. It's not just local at the machine. TMAC has a web server that any device in the world that can connect to this machine via network connection can look at the same data, live or historical data. Including your iPhone. We're actually looking at the live cutting data of this machine right now as it cuts. This is a really advanced capability of TMAC that gives you complete control and flexibility from anywhere. Manufacturing offers a lot of challenges. Material is constantly changing. Different thickness, different hardness. Tooling changes. Some tools are dull, some are sharp. Even the manufacturers of tools have differences in them. Then there's the work holding, the clamping, and even machine differences can cause all types of cutting problems. And then the lack of a skilled workforce to adapt to these changes really makes it challenging. Well, adaptive control is a technology that can compensate for a lot of this. By using real-time monitoring and automatic feed rate adjustment, we're making these changes all the time, predictably and reliably, for any conditions that are changing. So adaptive control is a technology that's underutilized, but can really help you advance in the manufacturing world.